We have traveled all the way to Amsterdam to try the best rated brownie in the world. But you're probably wondering why. Growing up as the young fat kid I was, I loved chocolate and even more so brownies especially. I owe it to myself to really try the best rated brownie in the world. But before we do any of that, we are out here in the countryside of Wiltshire to find the worst rated brownie. It's currently like 8am, we're out here in the countryside of Wilshire and we still have to try the worst rated brownie which is just down the road and it's called Jenny's Kitchen. Now then, Jenny's Kitchen is home to one of the worst rated brownies in the world and has reviews such as Brownie Surprise and Avoid Like The Plate. I'm already going to put my young fat self through this, let's find out. Right, so we have returned to the car with the worst rated brownie from Jenny's Kitchen and I wasn't allowed to record in there, so here it is, it's in tin foil. let's see how bad this really is. I mean to me it does just look like an ordinary chocolate brownie, pretty basic, but let's see if it kit's different. I mean, from the taste, it's, it's pretty dry. Yeah, it's just pretty dry. But there's only one place in the world where you can have a brownie that's going to give you an out-of-world experience. It's time to catch a flight, boys. That is right, lad. We are flying to the land of the Dutch to obtain the best rated brownie in the world. However, these certain type of brownies are only obtainable in locations called coffee shops, which have been around since 1975. My young fat self isn't only looking for the best rated brownie, but also the best experience. Right, so we have just arrived now in Amsterdam and just over there is the coffee shop where the best rated brownie is held. But the thing is, we only have a few hours now until we actually leave this country. So we have a race against time here. I'm not 100% sure if we can record in there, so I'm going to grab the brownie quickly, come out and smash it. So besides not being able to record and nearly getting run over by 10 million bikes in this town, we actually managed to get the best rated brownie. All that's left to do is eat it. And if you haven't already subscribed by now, I mean, what are you doing? Click that button down below. We are on our road to 1K. Please, let's make this happen. Right, it is now time to eat this brownie. And you may think it's not magical, but trust me, it is. Right, we've had the worst rated brownie in the UK and we've come all the way here to Amsterdam to try this, okay? And let's see what repercussions it has on us. Here goes nothing. I can tell you what, that is worth traveling three and a half hours on a train and all the way to Amsterdam for, mwah, beautiful. The dream is halfway complete, but all we need to do now is experience the experience that is promised within these brownies. And let me just say, I was worse for wear. But don't forget, we still have only a few hours until we have to head back to the UK. So we need to make our way down there now and just, just see what the repercussions of this is really. <laughs> right, so we are now on our way back to going home and it's only been, what, 10, 15 minutes? And I feel all right. It said 45 minutes and the brownie should turn into the best rated brownie, so. Fingers crossed. No boy, my fingers were crossed. I can't show you half the stuff because it will get age restricted, but I will show you when it hit me. 